Redmi Note 12 Pro Plus has been launched in India and it is a big deal because this series catapulted Xiaomi from being an obscure Chinese brand to India's best-selling smartphone brand. Before the Redmi Note line came along, Xiaomi was referred to as a plucky upstart that sold phones on flash sales on Flipkart. The Redmi Note was instrumental in Xiaomi becoming a consumer electronics phenomenon. How did that happen? Let's retrace the steps of the upstart that has become the third largest seller of smartphones globally following the might of Apple and Samsung. Its first phone in India wasn't a Redmi Note, but was the Mi 3, which was sold only on Flipkart in a flash sale. The phone was exciting when Gaga over the Xiaomi Mi 3. The Mi 3 was packed with cutting edge features that were seen in the latest Samsung Galaxy flagship, but at a price less than rupees 15,000. This limited launch of the Mi 3 was going to be a platform for a phenomenon that has come to define smartphones in India. It was Xiaomi's more affordable brand, Redmi, whose Redmi Note series came to define smartphones in India for the last nine years. Redmi Note's 4G model became the first 4G enabled device the Chinese manufacturer launched in India. Since then, as per Xiaomi, the Redmi Note line has sold more than 70 million units in India. It became the undisputed leader in the smartphone market, but the competition started to catch up. With the Redmi Note 12 series that has landed in India, Xiaomi wants to pull back the gap with a phone that can become the new gold standard for whatever one wants under Rs 30,000. The first Redmi Note launched in India was an excellent phone, but it was only with the Redmi Note 3 in 2016, the series became somewhat of a phenomenon. The Note 3 was exceptional because of the hardware and its jaw-dropping battery life. It was a phone that refused to lose charge. Xiaomi further cemented the formula with the Redmi Note 4, which had a refined build quality and a better camera. By 2019, the Redmi Note 7 Pro doubled down on a new design language. It threw in an excellent 48 megapixel camera four years before Apple did so with an iPhone and showcased a level of polish that was not seen in phones under 20,000. But Xiaomi's pace of innovation started wavering by the time the pandemic struck. Its focus in India had also moved towards more expensive gadgets as it wanted to improve its profits. The Redmi brand had captured the imagination of India and made it the undisputed market leader but never was an insane money-spinning machine. Other brands were more profitable for a fraction of the market share. The Redmi Note 9 had a new design and a new chipset but it wasn't a dramatic improvement. Similarly, in 2021, when the Redmi Note 10 Pro and Pro Max landed, Xiaomi touted the addition of an AMOLED screen, but the design was not again appetizing. By 2021, the likes of Vivo, IQ and Realme started to play catch up in the segment as their offerings progressively became better. The Redmi Note 11 Pro launched in 22 was a case of Xiaomi remixing the design of the Xiaomi 11i 5G and perhaps watering down the specifications and repackaging the device. It just didn't feel like a unique phone. So the mission for the Redmi Note 12 Pro and Pro Plus is to reignite the innovation the series has been known for. I have been testing the new Redmi Note 12 Pro Plus for the last couple of days. And I can say Xiaomi has made an earnest effort with it. It is the nicest feeling Redmi Note phone since the Note 7. It gets sharp metallic edges 
and a polished glass back which makes it an attractive gadget in the hand. It gets an impressive 200 megapixel camera system on the back which can capture great images in low lit conditions and does a reliable job when the lighting is good. It takes good videos as well in 4K. It even gets a 3.5mm headphone jack, something many believe to be extinct. It is also not packed with excessive gimmickries like low resolution telephoto cameras and depth sensors. It has a massive battery which lasts more than 30 hours on a single charge and if you push its limits, it will still last you through a day. It also gets lightning fast charging with its 120 watt charging brick. The display is excellent. The phone features MediaTek 1080 processor which is adequately fast for most normal tasks and then some more. And frills like sessions of Fortnite or Asphalt, this phone can handle them easily because the graphics are great. The software is also cleaner than previous Redmi phones. Unwanted advertisement alerts tend to seep in less often. But things could have been better. Xiaomi's Mi UI software layer, which works on top of Android 12, is a wee bit dated and is a bloat on the system. It means that this phone could have been faster had it not been for the lethargic software. Xiaomi insiders tell me that the phone will be improved with an update to Mi UI 14, but that may not be good enough. As good as the Redmi Note 12 Pro Plus is, it still gets eclipsed by two phones that were launched more than six months ago, the Google Pixel 6a and the Nothing Phone 1. The Pixel has an exceptional camera and the purest take on Android, while the Nothing is similar in terms of software, but comes with a unique and exciting design with some useful tricks. Both phones also feel faster than the Redmi Note 12 Pro Plus, making the Xiaomi phone feel bland in comparison. But if bland is something you like with an excellent camera and superb battery life, then the Redmi Note 12 Pro Plus can be your pick.